Hi, Darlington. If you're reading this, I've already hit the road. Things are a mess and I had to make this tough call for us. So don't blame yourself. The board is probably in a frenzy right now, but once I'm out of the picture, things won't escalate. It's easier to blame the one that's gone. I'm doing this because I care about your future. So keep your head up. Ace those exams and make me proud. Last, I want to thank you for reigniting the spark in my once empty life. Our time together will always be cherished. Please, don't try to find me. Just focus on carving out your own path and perhaps fate will bring us back together someday. Warm regards, Emily Johnson. Tanity. Valentine, have you been around for you everywhere? See, they're having an emergency meeting about you and Mr. Johnson's case. Can you meet me? It's Sunday, 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 Sunday. Right. <laughs> 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 Samantha! 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 What is Darlington? He's going to face a disciplinary panel right now. What? How did they find out? Wow, this is getting so serious. Wait, now that my Johnson is gone, that meant one wrong word from this guy and he's going to get expelled. I don't even know, but he's on his way right now. I need to stop him. Why is that boy risking everything for that stupid old lady? Hello. Stop him. That boy is madly in love. Bless him. You know that is not funny. She's gone. Gone? So she absconded without even trying to defend herself? Well, then I guess everything our children told us about her was true. Uh, not exactly, sir. Well, stop protecting her, Principal Davids. We, the board members, are here. We demand answers. You will, you will definitely get the answer you want. I promise you. Bullshit. We need to hear from both parties involved. We need to be so sure that our children are fine. Yes, they are in safe hands. Bring both parties before this. Come in. Talk of the devil. Well, since the teacher is gone, we should at least hear from the student. Well, the regulations stipulate that no student should be placed on their panel without parental presence. Yeah, well, with regulations, Principal Davis. I mean, you're protecting these criminals. Our children are not even safe anymore. At all. It's fine, Principal Davis. I'm ready to answer your questions and accept whatever verdict you may have. Please, sit. 
what we... It's fine. It's fine, Mom. I'm going to look out for her like she did for me. Good. You may proceed by introducing yourself. My name is Valentin Charles Eze. I'm in my final. Good. Now, Darlington, before we proceed, I would like to state something very clearly. Hmm? Do not be afraid of anyone here. We are here to protect you. So if anyone has done anything to you at any point in time or taken advantage of you, feel free to let us know. I need you to be as sincere and transparent as you can be. Certainly, sir. Good. Now, we are here to address certain troubling allegations about your association with uh, one of our teachers. I understand, sir. But I'd also like to state that whatever relationship I and Mrs. Johnson had was purely academic. Right. Now, according to your fellow students, um, Mrs. Johnson was the most hated teacher in school because she was uh, harsh and cold. So, tell us, what was she like as a teacher? Did she at any time bully you? No, sir. She never bullied me. Mrs. Johnson possessed various qualities, but bullying was never one of them, sir. And that is precisely why I'm here today, to defend her integrity. Mrs. Johnson was a very strict woman, sir. I even harbored a certain sense of resentment towards her at the beginning because she was particularly hard on me. First day I came into the school, Mrs. Johnson was always on my case. At some point I thought maybe my parents must have told us something about my past in the States, but... but then again I started studying because of Mrs. Johnson. I started taking my education seriously because of her. Even my parents were proud of me. And some days Mrs. Johnson was pretty chill, and on some other days, she was cold. It was almost as if she came to school bitter about something and just took it out on her students. But she was undoubtedly a very intelligent teacher as well. And she made sure she always carried her students along. She was also extremely introverted and, and closed. We went to some of the other teachers. She never smiled at us, not even once. It was as if she... It was as if she only existed in her own world. And for some reason, I found out quite intriguing, so... So I wanted to understand her better. And fortunately for me, she afforded me a glimpse into her world. Please! Where is he? Where is he? You can't hide from me! Where is he? Where is he? Please! You can't hide from me! You can't! 
if you if you if you if you move, if you move. Please, I'm sorry. Following this harrowing incident, Mrs. Johnson would dust herself up and still come to work and act like nothing ever happened and we had no idea what she was going through. After all, a teacher's personal life is none of our business, right? Given that A is equals to 3 over 5, and B is equals to 4 over minus 6, express the following I as Darlington. Darlington! <coughs> Where's your mind? What is your problem? What was the last thing I said? What was the last thing I said? Ma, you said that three... Was that the last thing I said? Where is your mind in this class? Why are you never focused? Why? Look, you better bring your mind back here and prepare for the upcoming quiz because you, Alex and Samantha, will be representing this class. You? No, me. What's wrong with you? Why are you, why are you always upset-minded in my class? Sorry. Sorry for yourself. You know what? Solve this. <laughs> Victor, what is funny? Do you want to join him? No, no, ma'am. In fact, take this as an assignment. Oh, no. oh, Thank you, ma'am. What? Thank you, ma'am. Good afternoon, Ma. Absolutely. What is it? Nothing. Let me see. What is it? <laughs> about your school fees? Yes, Ma. My parents couldn't afford everything. They couldn't really afford a for it. So I might have to switch schools. Don't worry. You don't have to switch schools, okay? I'll cover the balance for you. Really? Oh my god, thank you very much, Wa. Wow. Thank you. It's okay. Uh, thank okay. you, Wa. I really appreciate you, Wa. Wow. Tell your mother to see me when she comes to pick you. Okay, I will. Thank you very Don't much. Don't cry, okay? Uh, it's well, it's well. Thank you, Wa. Well. Cut to the chase, Dallant. Hmm? How did a student end up? having an affair with a teacher. We never dated her, so there was no affair. But if anyone is to be blamed for any of this, then it should be me. I started everything. I had a crush on her for three years straight. I liked her all on my own, so. so. Something. What Come do you on. want? Why are you up in such a hurry? That's none of your business. Okay, fine. Look, Darlington, we are both representing our class in the upcoming quiz, so let's study together. I'm not interested. Why do you hate me so much? Darlington, you used to like me. Yeah, I used to. Then I found out you were a bully. So you're saying you don't love me anymore? No, Samantha, I don't. But Darlington, I love you. Can you stop? Look, we can make this, but just give us a chance. Look, Samantha, I'm good. But well, I'm not interested. Fine. But I'm not gonna give up. Oh, you should. 
because I will never reciprocate your feelings. Do you understand? So stop wasting your time. Wow. Tell me, Darlington. Is there someone else? And why would I tell you that, Samantha? So you can go and bully her, Abby? So there is someone else? I don't... There is nobody else, okay? I feel excuse me, I need to get to the library. No, I'm going home early today. Oh. I have a date. <laughs> Ooh, congratulations, girl. Thank you. I'm so happy for you. Yeah, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Yeah. I hope it goes well. I hope so. Because if it does, I'm not going home tonight. Ooh, I know what you mean. <laughs> Bye, girl. All the best. Bye. Bye. Take care. Hello, honey. He left my vintage shoes outside. Bitch, come home now. I'm so sorry, but I'm not done yet. You sound drunk. Are you drunk again? It's your father that is drunk. Who are you calling drunk? Are, are you calling me drunk? I'm sorry, my love. Don't you have any respect for your husband anymore? I'm sorry, my love. I kept it. I do not care. Just bring your black ass home for your punishment. Are you, are you mad at me? I said come home now. I can't come home with you sounding like this. What did I ever do to you? Look, I'm tired of all this, okay? I'm tired. What is all this? What do you think you're doing? Get out. Ma, I always use this toilet. I said get out! Are you deaf? I said, get out! Guys, come on. Why are you worried about where she sleeps? I mean, she had it coming. Yelling at me when I was having a bad day. Okay, but what if we get in trouble for this? We won't get in any trouble. We were not caught, so there won't be a case. Are you sure? Are you sure? Okay. Oh, all right, all right. I love Supreme. Yeah. You and I. Against the tide, love's our God, we got nothing to hide, and our hearts forever true for beating. But we will always have to move. The sweetest one, they say. 
What are you still doing here? I was studying at the library. I lost track of time. What about you? I was locked in the restroom this afternoon. The security man just helped me open this evening. I wanted to get my bag, but the staff room is locked. Wow. I'm so sorry. Um, do you need a ride home or something? Um, I think I'll just stay in a hotel. It's fine. But the problem now is I'm kind of stranded and I wanted to ask the security for money, but I couldn't. I don't know if I can get some funds from you. I'll give it back to you tomorrow. No, I don't have any money with you right now. <sighs> have you been crying? Um, no. Okay, so why don't you just go home then? nothing. Look, Mrs. Johnson, you look like you could really use someone to talk to right now. This is after school hours, so you could consider me a friend. I don't think I want to share my body with my students. Forget I'm a student then. And just talk to me. I promise I won't judge. Well, I don't want to be vulnerable. Come on, Mrs. Johnson. Okay, look. Just think of me as a stranger. And you're probably never going to see me after today again. All right? And just open up to me. Come on. All right. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm in an abusive marriage. I thought you said you were not going to judge me. I'm, I'm sorry. Please continue. You know, it's just been crazy, you know. Earlier today, my husband hit me. And I'm tired of all that. I don't think I want to go back home to that. Oh God, I'm so sorry. It's fine. It's not your fault. Right, you know what? How about... You stay at my place tonight. What? No. Wait, Mrs. Johnson, chill. Just hear me out. All right, look, my parents are out of the country right now, so I practically have the house all to myself. And I really don't have the money to help you with the hotel. And I don't want you stranded here. Besides, the security guy has probably gone on by now. Well, you know, it's against the school rules. Come on, Mrs. Johnson. What rules? I'm not going to say anything if you don't. Mrs. Johnson, is either you come with me or you stay here alone. Um, I think I'll stay here, it's fine. Okay, suit yourself in. Good night. Wait. Um, I'll come with you. All right, come on then. But how do you, how do we get the ride? Don't worry about that, just call. Darlington, can you see properly at night? <laughs> yes, Mrs. Johnson, I can see. I'm kind of worried. <laughs> do you even have a driver's license? Well, I've been driving since I was like six. Yes, I have a driver's license. That's great. <laughs> Please, can you just focus on the road? You sorry. keep staring at me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are we almost there yet? Yeah, we're almost there. Just the next turn. Okay. Yes. 
your eyes on the road. I'm sorry. Darling. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> Welcome to your sanctuary for the night. Wow. Please. Thank you. Make yourself at home. Uh, so you're going to be staying at the guest room. It's just the door on the right. Wow. Yeah, once you get in, there's a, there's a box underneath the wardrobe. It's filled with my mother's sister's clothes that I have. Sure. She's not wearing any of them, so you could just use anyone. Oh, and the fresh tour was in the bathroom. You could use anyone okay. as well. Thank you. Oh, sorry. One more thing. What would you like to have for dinner? Oh, no. I'm, I'm fine. You've done more than enough. Thank oh, you so much. Oh, Mrs. Johnson, you're killing me here. Yeah. I can't let you go to bed hungry. Please. But I have banga soup. I have... A goosey, I have rice and stew, I have cake, I have sandwich, oh. and uh, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> I don't um, really have much, so, you know. Um, well, maybe sandwich and juice is fine. Are you sure? That's, that's okay for you? Yes, yes, that's all. You're such a good boy. Uh-huh. Yeah, you, you definitely need to stop doing that. Stop doing uh -huh. what? Addressing me like I'm a child. Oh, you're not? <laughs> I'll just go and freshen up and uh, fix your dinner. Once you're done, you can just come away already, okay? Thank you once again. No, trust me. It's my pleasure to have you here. Sandwich and juice. Thank you. Thank You're you welcome. So you know, you should smile more often. It makes you look more approachable. <laughs> what do you mean? Are you trying to say I don't smile enough? Oh, yes. You never smile. You're always frowning. It makes you look mean. Well, let's just say tough love builds character. Well, yeah, I get that. But then again, a little sweetness here and there. Never heard anybody. <laughs> well, fair enough. Did you hate me for that? <laughs> you have no idea. If strict was a person, she would be you. You are the embodiment of strictness. Do you get? Oh wow. So what made you change your mind? Your smile. And that heart of gold you have. I didn't believe all this tough exterior. Oh, wow, well, but I I don't remember ever smiling at you. Oh no, it wasn't at me directly, it was at a student. There was this oh. one time I, I resumed school pretty late because I was stupidly gaming with my friends overnight. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I came to school that day, very late at night, and I saw you consoling another student. I think she had a problem with her fees or something. And she <laughs> smiled. You smile at her, I saw you. Well, <laughs> well, I'm thrilled to know you're now less of a hater. What? Mm -hmm. Less of a hater, girl. Yo, I'm like a full blown fan right now. Okay. <laughs> you know, you could be my soulmate. Um, <laughs> flattering me would not work, especially when it's coming from my students. Oh, come on, Mrs. Are you seeing this? Stop playing. Look at this. Look so at what? Look, look at this. What? Oh, the beards? <laughs> oh, but kids grow beards too. Wow. Right? You know what? Just just eat your food. Oh, you're, you know what? Yeah, just I, eat your food. Just I totally your food. forgot this yeah. was here. <laughs> mm. This looks nice. Mm. 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 
Mm. Mm. This is nice. What? Mm? Nah, you're probably just hungry. Mm, seriously, it tastes really nice. What? Yeah. yeah. I made that myself. No. Yes. You did? Yeah. I actually thought you were going to go for the cake, but then you didn't, so I made this for you with love. Oh. Mm -hmm. But where is yours? Nah, I'm not a fan. What do you mean you're not a fan? You served me and you did not serve yourself. Mrs. Johnson, can you like chill? I'm not trying to poison you or anything. Mm, I'm just really not a fan of bread. It's kind of suspicious, you know. But ah, I think you should have some. Mrs. Johnson, I'm good. Trust me. I insist. I want you to have some. Fine. Mm -hmm. Not okay. girl. This is actually quite delicious. Yeah, it could be like a the G chef. <laughs> G <-head. Yeah. laughs> actually. So um <clears throat> now that I kinda have like a glimpse of who you really are, you know, underneath all this makeup and stuff. I wanna say that you're absolutely stunning. By the way. Thank you. I, I should eat this sandwich now. Am I making you uncomfortable? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Actually, yes. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, how do you serve your guests without serviettes? Oh my god, I am so sorry. I actually forgot. You did? I'll be right back. Alright. I will do as I don't please. Do you understand? Where did you sleep last night? Where did you sleep last night? Go off me, the students are watching. Where did you sleep last night? And don't think about telling me to bring it down because I need to know where you slept last night. You're a married woman, you're not permitted to sleep outside without your husband's consent, without my fucking consent. Do you understand? Listen, the, the, the staff room. The, 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 the office was locked and my stuff were inside. I, I couldn't get them. So, so I had to sleep in a hotel. Look at you, stutter. You slept in a hotel with who? Alone. Alone. You lie, you prostitute. <laughs> Don't even think about it. And who the fuck are you supposed to be, hmm? Hmm? Knight and shiny number one of a junior. Who the fuck are you supposed to be? Darling, a student. Please stay Whoa. out of this. A student. Now listen here, junior. Hmm? This here, grown people business. Adult business. I'm disciplining my wife, so you stay the fuck out of it. Do you understand? Well, I'm sorry, sir. So what now? But I can't. Oh. So what are you gonna do, Junior? Hmm? What are you gonna do? Junior, you wanna fight me, Junior? Hmm? Well, I will if I have to. If you don't behave, I will. Oh, really? Oh, really? No? Oh, really? No. Someone needs to teach this motherfucker a lesson. Did, did, he just, did he just call me? Did this little fucker just call me a motherfucker? Hmm? Hmm? Hey, hey, hey! Hey, hey, hey! Stop! 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 Hey, stop! 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 Get out! You! Oh, without her! Get your hands off her! Get out! I'm not living here without my wife! You better leave! I'm going to walk you off. Trust me. 
Trust me. Get out now that you have the chance. Get out. This is school premises. Not for drama. Get out. Otherwise, you're sleeping in prison for the rest of your life. I want you to get out. Leave this place. This is school premises. Get out. You're coming home, aren't you? I'll see you at home. You're junior. But you're fucking back. Hear me? Damn, where, where did he come from? What, what is going? What are you doing here? Go, go, back to your, go back to your class. Go to your class. What of you? My office. Now. I'm really sorry about what happened outside earlier. What are you doing? Do you want to get yourself killed? Huh? Where did you sleep last night? My place, mom. What? Do you two know that's against the school rules? Ma, I was stranded. And my, my belongings were in the office and it was locked. And he was the only one available to help me, so he offered to help me. So there was no other daughter, huh? No, ma'am. So what if he wasn't there? What would you have done? Are you even thinking about your safety? I'm, I'm really sorry, ma. Don't to get back to your class. Thank you, ma'am. How long has this been going on? Three years now. I thought you'd been only married for four. You are so introverted, you don't even ask anybody for help. I dare not. Listen, domestic violence can lead to death. You could have been killed. If you're being abused in your first year of marriage, you should have divorced him. I thought it was going to change. Oh, people don't really change, my dear. It's your responsibility to take care of yourself. Okay, look at what he did in school today. Imagine what he will do in future. I'm really sorry about that, man. I'm going to give you a divorce lawyer's number. You should divorce him immediately. The divorce lawyer happened to be my cousin. So I'll take care of the charges. You don't bother about it. Thank you so much, Ma. Really? Yes. Well, like a family, I can't watch you go through this. It's our responsibility to take care of each other. All right? Hey, um, can, I, can I also sue him for domestic violence? Emphatically, yes. That's why I give you the number. All right? Please, take care of yourself, okay? In fact, take, 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 take the day off, all right? Take some time off. Take good care of yourself. Put yourself together, all right? Thank you so much. Thank you, man. I really appreciate this. Thank you. Watch that guy's as well. It's your house. It's your house. It's your mother of a cold. Thank you. It's us. It was your house. It's 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 your house. Guys, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, I know what happened at the gate. Like, everybody is talking about it. Are you think the girls are chilling with me? Are you serious? Who's serious now? Wow. But I heard that the man that you fought was Mrs. Johnson's husband. Wait, what exactly happened? I don't want to talk about this. Guys, me. I don't want to talk about this now. I beg, drop it. What happened to the James? What's your problem? Are you okay? Can you stop? Come on, don't. Okay, fine. What happened to the James? I don't want to talk about it. Just stop. Look, take it away from me, please. Do you have a problem or something? You just stop. I don't need this right now. Just stop. Just take it Something like this. Don't worry. Set it down, class. Right, Trevor. Uh, 
<clears throat> well, at least now we know what cost the fight in school. But you have also given us some very valuable information. How can the teacher visit a student at home without parental consent? Sir, so, so I'm not afraid to tell you the story exactly as it happened. And you're probably going to judge me for this. Go ahead. She is my soulmate. And I'm not going to let her image to be tarnished in any way. So I'm being totally honest, sir. And if I have to stop school, then I will. Just like she did for me. Hmm? Okay, uh, thank you very much, darling. And we will reconvene in two days. I know as we continue. Mm -hmm. You may go home now. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And I'll stand by you. Your dark is night. And you make this fly. Never leave. I'll stand by you. Your dark is night. I was sent by you. I. So what happens, man? It's cool. Hey, what's up? Well, guy, I don't even know what to do right now. These things are making me big deal out of this thing. Man, it's too awful. So, see, and don't worry. We are here for you. See, do matter what happens, we have your back. Yes. Yes, man, I really appreciate it. See, all of them are here for, for Mr. Johnson. I heard she helped one or two of them. Thank you guys so much. Oh, I really appreciate it. Let's just hope this whole thing doesn't last you. It's crazy, Mbaya. Hey, you don't have to let this get you down. We all know Mrs. Johnson was a very good person. So let's just hope you guys stay back after all this is over. Okay? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay? Thank you. 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 You know, if you need my help, you can just ask. Listen, Darlington. My dad is a panel chairman. And I can talk him into letting you stay. But only if you date me and forget all about Mrs. Johnson. How about that? Look, our year is in a few weeks. And you need me if you want to graduate. Darlington, you are going to leave me, I promise you that. So good. Against the current before you hit. In a book, we'll find strength to stay. You and I against the tide. Love's our God, we got nothing to hide And our hearts, forever true For beating love, but we will break through Love is a taboo <laughs> Well, 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 see who is back home Son, <laughs> how did it go? It didn't go well, Dad we're having another board meeting in two days. Oh. That they're making this whole thing a big deal. Like, they don't know what to do. Of course! Of course I said it. They are. 
You can't keep getting out of your reckless behavior. You fail so much at school in the U.S. There you are. We brought you down here. We thought everything would be okay. There you are. You go and do. God knows what you've done with your teacher. You specialize on disappointing us. Oh, what do you want me to do, Mom? Huh? What do you want me to do? Yes, I'm a disappointment. I'm not a son you hope for, but what do you want me to do? I love her, okay? And there's nothing. There's nothing you can say that will change that. She's my soulmate. Soulmate, my foot. You're jubilizing your future with this family reputation for some infatuation. If you don't know, she's older than you, for goodness sake. Open your eyes! Honey. What? Calm down. I mean, let's don't be harsh. Ah. Oh, keep supporting him. Excuse me. I'm out of your bullshit. Excuse me. So we have reconvened to continue our discussion about the allegations against you. Now, <clears throat> while uh, agreeing that emotions are complicated, it is, however, crucial to maintain high professional boundaries at all times. Mrs. Johnson's position of authority makes her involvement in this matter highly inappropriate. I know, sir. And I deeply regret ever putting her in this position. But I can't help how I feel about her. And like I said in the last meeting, I was never forced into anything. We never dated. We never had an affair, sir. I loved her all on my own. So, are you actually saying that you made the first move? Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, somehow I found find that very hard to believe. I mean, I, I think you've been brainwashed. I'm not sure this, that's not true, sir. Um, isn't it easier to just, you know, dump the blame on her since she's quit already? Yes, ma'am. Then why are you so hard amount about protecting her, even as she does not favor you? Why? Because she's innocent. And I love her, so I can never lie against her. So, you agree that this all started from you? Yes, ma'am. Elaborate. Okay, so. So it all, it all started with simple discussions of an academic matter between a teacher and a student. And somewhere along the line, I, I developed a foolish crush on her. And then during her absence, following the altercation with her husband the other day, my feelings for her intensified. And you know what they say, absence makes the heart grow fonder. And that was the case for me. Darlington, what the hell is wrong with you? Get out of your mind! Darlington, back up. Please, let's go. Samantha, you better pray I find her. Because if I don't... Valentine, I say you should back up unless you want me to report you to the principal. Just go.
Because he will never come back. It's been so boring without him, Mr. Johnson. Thank you so much. Well, now that I am back, don't you think we need to catch up on everything that we've missed? Yes. Yeah. You guys didn't think it was going to be all fun, hmm? Yeah. So, are we ready for our upcoming quiz? It's in two days, you know? Yes. yes we are ready. And our representatives, are we ready? Yes! You know, we have to win this. We need to tell them that we are the senior. Um, yeah. Okay, so at this point, I will let you guys study. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. you guys are the best. Thank you. I'll see you guys. Bye. 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 Look, whatever you have to say, keep it for tomorrow at the court. Oh, no, please don't do this. Please, you have to forgive me. You're, you're my wife. Do you love me? Wife. See, once my wife, always my wife. Emily, remember all we shared. Please, I need I can't I can't do without you. Oh, for the sake of our family, remember that family, please. Did you say family? Did you think of family when you turned me into a punching bag? Did you? Every little misunderstanding, you hit me. Why? For what? Look, this marriage is over. The earlier you get it, the better for you. Come here. Don't touch me. Please, please. Listen, I know this is not the life I promised you. So it's not the life I planned for us. Please, I can change. All right? I can change. I swear I will do better. Get out. Can you get out? <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What was he doing here? Like, I hope he didn't hurt you again. Of course not. Look, I need you to stop bothering yourself about me, okay? I'm fine. Uh, again with the boundaries. Okay, I'm sorry. It's just that I'm worried it hurt you again after the whole stunt you pulled the other day. Look, I know you care about me. And trust me, I appreciate it more than you know. Okay? Thank you. And also, thanks for the gift. I liked it. You're welcome. So, I have been studying. Ooh. Yes, I wanted to impress you. Okay, maybe I'll stop by to see what you've been up to. Thank you. You're welcome. Missed you. Good afternoon, Good afternoon sir. Um, Sorry, thank you, sir. Okay. I need you to hurry to the campsite to get the food. But sir, 
Olivia is right there. I can't remember asking you for a recommendation. I'm gonna hurry up. Get there. Tell Yafolake to give you my regulars. Now. Mr. Morris. Smiling? <laughs> wow. That's a rare sight to behold, I must say. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looks good on you, though. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. So I guess it's the best time to say welcome back to work. Well, thank you, Mr. Morris. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. So... How's it been? Well, thank God. The students have been really, really nice. Nice. They're always like that. Thank you, silly girl. You knew down well. Look, next time you see me, learn how to greet well. Am I clear? Now raise your hands. Look at this. Hi, darling, Sam. Where are you going? Why are you punishing that? Oh, them. They didn't greet me well. Both of you. To your classes. Now! Thank you, Susan. Darlington, you know I don't like it when you undermine my authority. But anyway, that's fine. Where are you going? Let me come with you. What's your problem? Dal really? No bad company for us, you guys. What did he say? Nothing. Okay, girls, let's go. Hey, girl, what's up? I'm good. Uh uh. I was only gone for a week. Are you angry with me? Of course, I'm angry at you. Why? What did I do? How long have we known each other? Uh -uh. We've known each other since teacher's training college. Why? What's going on? Do you even consider me your friend in the slightest bit? <sighs> of course, you're my only friend, literally. Then why do I have to hear about you outside from others? I even have to ask the principal about the fight rumor because she wouldn't tell me anything. Oh, I'm sorry. See, I was going to tell you. When? When are you going to tell me? I thought we were friends that we tell each other anything, but I was wrong. Babe, I'm sorry. Okay? I'm sorry. Okay. Fine. Thank you. So, what's going on between you and Valentine? Huh? <laughs> Nothing. I thought that's much. You're not going to tell me anything. Oh, come on, babe. If I had something with that boy, I would tell you. Uh, if I don't tell you, who will I tell? There's nothing. I understand that you have to sleep at this place. That boy will make you feel what you haven't felt in a long time. You need to be careful. And you know the school rules. I know. Okay? I'll be careful. Okay. How's that crazy husband of yours? <laughs> that one. Well, newsflash, we are getting a divorce. Oh, finally, thank God. <laughs> At least some good news. Of course. I was going to beat that crazy husband of yours for you. Oh, come on. He's not worth it. <laughs> you look good, girl. Turn around, turn around. Let me see. Thank I, you. I see my hot teacher. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. Good. Mm. <laughs> Tell me, did you miss me? No. Hey, Auntie, you can't lie. You. I didn't miss you. <laughs> I know you're lying. <sighs> How's it going? Uh, it's it's going pretty good actually. Did you show working? Yes. Let me see. <clears throat> Okay. Just here. 
So I uh, I noticed you weren't okay earlier today. Is everything fine? Oh, um, you know, I'm actually going through a divorce and I'm currently looking for an apartment, so. Really? Okay. Uh, so does that mean you're like single again, like back in the market? Not exactly. Why did you ask? Well, I'm just, uh, I'm just trying to see if you consider a fine young gentleman like myself. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know how I feel about you. And I kind of think you like me too. Darling, you're way too young for me. What you need to focus on now is your studies. And that's what's more important. So quit trying. Fine. Can I just get your number so I can call you? In case I have issues, you know, with my studies or something. Of course, why not? Thank you. You're welcome. By the way, this is wrong. Yeah. Um, look, you need to focus, all right? I don't have all day. You look absolutely gorgeous today, Mrs. Johnson. Miss Johnson. <laughs> Um, thank you. <laughs> so like I was saying, X here is not supposed to be here. So three all over five equals to two X minus Y. You, you understand the formula? No, but could you just explain this again? <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, Mrs. Johnson. Look who found our way to my office today. Come on, sit down. Thank you. Oh, well, you came back earlier than I expected. How are you coping? Tell me. Well, it's been overwhelming, but it's all right. Oh, thank it's you. all right. We're all family. First off, I want to say a very big thank you for introducing me to the divorce lawyer. He's really been so helpful. I mean, knowing I have someone knowledgeable on my side has really made things easy for me. Oh. And the divorce process is going very well. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, 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 you deserve to get all the help you need in this difficult time. Thank you. I also want to express my gratitude to you for giving me the time off, you know, to attend to my personal needs and not make work responsibilities overwhelm me. I know, I know. I mean, your, your health should be top priority. And I just wanted to know that I will not hesitate to give you any help that you want at any point in time, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. You're not just only an amazing boss. You're also an amazing friend. Oh. Your kindness is just out of this world. Oh. Thank you, ma. I'm always by your side, you know? I'm ready to help anytime. Okay? My family. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, do I go ahead and call you Miss Emily now? Is that you okay? <laughs> of course, why not, Ma? Good. <laughs> Welcome. When your world is breaking down, I'll be the one to stay in your silent suffering now. I'll hear the words that you can't say And I'll stand by you Through your darkest night And your weakest light Never leave your side Factorize AX minus BY minus AY plus BX Darlington, huh? come and solve this yeah. Hope is hard to find I'll lift you up Through the tears and fears In your darkest hour Your hand in mine And I'll stand by you Through your darkest night 
in your weakest blood Never leave your side I'll stand by you Through the darkest night I will stand by you I'll see you through it all Incorrect. <laughs> Let me have my hand. I so Will anyone else like to try? Auntie Anne. Auntie Anne. Auntie Anne. Samantha. Come and solve it. I'm silent. I'm ringing up. I'll hear the words. So, who you will tell me about your accident? Bro, I don't know what you're talking about. Man. Come on, man. Ah. I saw the way she was looking at you, smiling all lovely. Ah. And she usually me like 90% of the time. Which I don't like you were the one that had the question. But I mean like the way she was looking at you, like tells me that she actually loves you. So how did you do it? Wait, 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 wait. Do you feel like she loves me? Like she did really love you? Bro. Like she had her eyes lost in you. I mean it was weird. I mean I kind of made some moves on her recently, like you know, since she's single now and stuff. Wait, she's single now? Bro, yes. <laughs> Because, you know, I actually thought that my friend was having a relationship with a married woman. Bro, don't be so sure. Nah. Like, nah, but you know me better than that. Uh, I actually <laughs> thought, like, hmm? she think I was too young for or something. <laughs> yeah. I guess she likes me too. Yeah. The way she was looking at you, I mean, she definitely likes you. Uh, <laughs> no jokes. <laughs> well, thanks a lot, man. Look at you. I mean, you're still becoming an expert woman, right? The women yeah, falling man. over you. As usual, Samantha is always carrying them away. Bro, can you not call Samantha right now? You want to spoil my mother, I think. Ah. And I'm not interested in those other girls. Really? I'm only interested in Miss Emily. Miss who? Bro, Miss Emily is my soul. <laughs> she will finally come clean. But see, I have to give you the flower, child, because like breaking Miss Emily definitely will be that easy. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know. Man. I was in the probably yeah, this one like what you said yesterday and yeah. the things that she You're getting ready for your test tomorrow. Yeah, yes. I am. I'll set you up. Yeah. Jalison. Hey. Jalison, I'm talking to you. Yes. What is it? You know, it's really funny how you yell the moment you see me. But you're all smiles when it comes to Mrs. Johnson, Darlington. Are you really going to choose an older man over me? Samantha, there is nothing going on between me and Mrs. Johnson. Oh, please, come on, darling. You can't deceive me. I mean, I see the way you both look at each other. How delusional can you be, Samantha? Look, I've told you. 
You and me are done. Like, we're done, done. So I don't understand what your problem is. Besides, I've told you I don't love you anymore. So can you, like, chill with all this drama? I don't need it. Look, your Mr. Wright is going to find you someday. But it's not me. Okay? I'm sorry. What the... You have two minutes more. Time's up. Let me have it. I don't care. Yes. I gave you enough time, you guys. Let me have it. Let me have it. Venita? Olivia? Sylvia? Joseph? Alex? Blessing? Victor? Julie? Samantha? Ali? Darling. Yes. What is it? I think there's been a mistake on my script. What do you mean? I scored a seven. And I usually get a perfect score, or at least a nine. So I'm going to need you to remark this. Remark what? Are you trying to say I failed you intentionally? Yes. It's your audacity. Well, it looks like I'm not the only one with audacity here. Ah. Now get back to your seats. Or what? Father, let's go back to us. Leave me alone. Samantha, Jimmy, listen. No! Mommy, 
Yeah. What's going on in that class? Are we now beating up our teachers? No, we didn't do anything. We're just trying to separate them. Yes, ma, she's right. It was just Samantha. Okay, then. What of you should go back to your class? Thank you, ma. Samantha, what was that? Ma, I have told you. She's grading me poorly. I was only standing up for myself. Samantha, there are ways to show concerns of grade. Physically confronting your teacher is not part of them. This is a highly disciplined school and I'm so disappointed in you being a prefect in this school. Your father is on his way. You called my dad? Of course. Actions have consequences, Samantha. Well, if I'm getting punished, Mrs. Johnson should be sacked. Oh, what grounds? For having an affair with a student. What? That is a very serious accusation. Do you have any evidence to back up these claims? No, I don't. I just know it. For God's sake, you don't accuse people of such a thing when you have no evidence. That is a very serious accusation. And it has very serious consequences. Look, man, this is not fair. I can't be getting punished and she's getting away with what she did. She has to be punished according to the school rules. Okay, young lady, I understand that you're upset. Okay, but we'll have to treat with caution. This is Johnson that I know is not capable of doing something like this. But don't worry. I'll investigate your allegations, all right? But for now, I need you to accept the consequences of your action. Learn how to handle issues like this without being violent. Go back to your class. Samantha, what's me that's what you put in there today? You don't have respect for your elders, have you? And you do. What does that mean? So you guys are really going to judge me for speaking up for myself, Nobody right? Nobody is judging you, Samantha. You are clearly being rude to Mrs. Johnson. <laughs> So it's not okay to be rude, but it's okay to have an affair with a teacher. What? what? Wait, 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 wait. Samantha, what are you talking about? Yes, Mrs. Johnson has been having an affair with Darlington here. What? Yes, that is not true. She's like, what are you? Saying, Don't mind me, it's true. They have been seen together and everybody knows this. We can't let them get away with this. Yes. Look, Mrs. Johnson will be held accountable for her actions, just like every other teacher would. Yes! Damn it, see. Any teacher who breaks the school rules must be dismissed. Don't you guys think so? Yes, we do! What is the punishment for this crime? Such teacher must and will be dismissed. Are we really going to let them get away with this? We will! Look, talk about the side. You know Samantha is really pushing the limit this time. You should know that by now Samantha is a crazy girl. I'm never there to do because that will go down. down. Yes, but this is getting too far. You speak for yourself, but for me I'm having so much fun. I can't wait to see this drama. Are you serious? It's so much fun. No, stop. It's good to stop. It's so funny. I knew it. Are you serious? Yes. You give us something more. You shall. Wow. I 
swear you're the sweetest one In every step Move at the moment Feel his heart's drum and ball Against the current We'll forge your hair In a bunch who we'll find strength and stand You and I Against the tide Love's our God We got nothing to hide And our hearts Samantha, it's good to have you back I hope you feel better. Hmm? Hopefully your fever doesn't come back. See me in the staff room after this class, okay? Moving on, can someone tell me the meaning of ANOVA? Anyone? Look, I don't want to single out anyone because you know if I do that, I'll definitely pick from the back benches. So I need someone to answer this now, even if you don't know it, at least make an attempt. Joseph, what is the meaning of ANOVA? Stand up and tell us. Venita, what is ANOVA? Sylvia. What is the meaning of ANOVA? Look, if no one answers this right now, I'll have to punish all of you. Not you, Darlington. Miss Johnson, see me. Girl, test. I was told that she had left school, and I searched everywhere. I searched everywhere for her, but I couldn't find her. Eventually, I ended up here, facing this panel on our behalf. So, the relationship between I and Mrs. Johnson was purely academic, and it was that of a student and a teacher. Mrs. Johnson had very strict boundaries, and she never crossed the line. I was just so in love with her, and I didn't realize how much it would cost her. So this is all my fault, and I would like to take that for it. Well, thank you for your honesty and sharing your story exactly as it happened. Thank you for listening, sir. Mm. Well, the panel will deliberate on your punishment as you wait outside with your parents. All right, thank you. <laughs> Okay, so I think this is going to be more complicated. I'm sorry, who are you? We are here to support Mrs. Johnson. Support? Yes, sir. We want her to be pardoned. Sir, Mrs. Johnson is a very nice teacher. She even supported me when I had issues with my maths. And she isn't even teaching my class. So she played my shoes and my parents couldn't meet up. She even advised me on my relationship with my parents and it really helped me a lot. Mrs. Johnson visited me when my mother was in the hospital. And she's not even teaching my class, sir. I was very moved. So she bought me lunch almost every day because she knew I couldn't afford it.
Oh, oh. I, I, I just admire her. And I want to see her win. Mrs. Johnson is my role model. I, I, I just want her to be... To be a part of so. Pardon. <clears throat> well, we have heard everything you say and um, the panel will put that into consideration while we'll deliberate on the verdict. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, mm -hmm. sir. You can go now. Okay, sir. The panel has reached a verdict after careful consideration and thorough investigation into the allegations of an affair between Mrs. Johnson and the student Darlington. Now, though the is not enough evidence to conclusively prove that there might have been an affair between the two parties. Um, it is, however, clear that um, school policies and boundaries have been violated. Uh, it is in light of this that uh, we regretfully have decided to relieve Mrs. Johnson of her duties as a teacher in this institution. Now, Darlington, yes, sir. the panel has deliberated carefully on your involvement in this matter. And though your actions have already led to your suspension, we have, however, decided to allow you to return to school to take your final exams, oh. as they are already imminent. However, any further infractions will attract severe punishment. Now, it is very, very important to always remember to uphold the integrity and reputation of this great institution. Now, I believe lessons have been learned from this experience. Yes, sir. Good. In that light, this panel is hereby dissolved and this case closed. Okay. Thank you. Okay, we are very grateful. We want to thank this panel for the judgment. I think uh, the verdict is not really unfair to my son. I think we accept the verdict. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Welcome. Alright, so um, we'll just get the reports. Have you started work at your new place? Just get back to me when you're settled in. Darlington is doing well, so don't worry about him. This is 
Mrs. Johnson, where are you now? You're not picking up your calls. You're not responding to your text messages. I can't believe you disappeared on me like this. How am I supposed to cope without you? Please, call me when you see this. Honey? Honey? You have not touched your food. And see your food lying there on the table. You have not eaten for some days now. What's wrong with you, for goodness sake? Do you want to get yourself killed over a woman? And do you remember you have a exam to take? I hope you're studying in that room. No, I'm not hungry, okay? What? And I'm not writing any exam until I find out. What? Are you talking to me? What? Open this door for me now. Hey, okay. What is it? Is it not your son? He has not eaten his food for some days now. And he's telling me he's not interested in taking his exam. And thereby, the exam is in some few days now. I'm afraid he's wasting his time over just a woman. <laughs> He'll be fine. Is that why you're laughing? This is a serious issue. Mind you. Honey, don't you see it? Huh? That boy reminds me of myself. What? Oh, God. You were five years older when we got married, right? And today we are happily married. Can you hear yourself? I'm five years older than you. I'm telling you, she is seven good years older than our son. I'm a divorcee. That is the difference if you cannot say it. See, I mean, the positive influence that lady has on our son is, I mean, way beyond my imagination. I have never seen our son so well behaved in years. We should thank that woman for having such an influence on our son. Don't you think so? Okay. Suit Let yourself. Please. Huh? Oh. Let them be. They'll be fine. Everything will be okay. Is that so? Suit yourself. Excuse me. Hello, my love. Open up. We need to talk. Darlington. Um, we are here to help you find her. Open up. Come on. Come on, open up, Darlington. Oh, my Lord. See how you look. You don't look too good. Are you okay? I'm fine, Mom. Dad, how do you want to help me find her? I can still believe you choose a woman over your parents. I'm, so, I'm really sorry, Mom. But I can't let her go. I love her so much. Is that so? Yes. I believe that. We are going to look for her. Is that clear? Really? Yes. How? Oh, you know what? We are connected, okay? Um, we'll hire a private investigator to find her wherever she is and we'll bring her to you. Thank you right. so much, Dad. This means a lot to me, Mom. Thank you so much. Yes. yes. Well, we're very sorry. We didn't give you our consent from the beginning. We're just looking out for you. It's fine, Mom, I understand. Is that? It's fine, really. Okay, on one condition. Okay. Though... Mom, what condition? 
we want you to study very hard and do well from your next examination. Oh. Think about how disappointed she will be if you still don't graduate. You will still clock 20 in a few days' time. And you can go ahead and do what pleases you. Do you know what, son? Hmm? We just want you to pass your exams. Okay? Yes. Just be happy. It's fine, man. It's done. I promise. Sure. Yes, I promise. That's pure. Thank you so much for making that. This means so much to me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, my, I'm kind of hungry. What? <laughs> He's ready to eat more this food. Okay. Come yes, along and enjoy it. Go ahead. Enjoy it. So, hey, it's okay, bro. Let's go. Exam. Can you please do away with all bats? As you all know, examination of my practice is a very unforgivable offense. If you're caught in the act, you're gone. Out for good. You both look suspicious. Step out.
My goodness. What is this, Samantha? Sir, I didn't put that there. Sir, I don't know how that got there. And do you expect me to believe you? Sir, I didn't. Please, sir, believe me. I, I didn't write that. I don't know how that got to my lover. What? I swear. Ma, I didn't, I didn't write it, ma. What have you done? I haven't done anything. You're actually cheating. No, I'm not cheating. Get quiet. She said, believe me, I did not write that. I swear. You I expect us to believe that lie? Sir, I didn't write it. I, I did not write it. Please believe me. <laughs> ma, please, I didn't write that. I swear, I did not write it. Okay, follow me. Go oh, get it up. We're distracting the bus. Follow me. Hey, hey, you're wasting your time. Okay? You are wasting your time. If you don't want to be around you, you want to be in for it. Let's go. Gentlemen, <laughs> um, I, I'm going to say that I'm super excited about how your performance is. That means I am happy that I have people who are going to represent this school at the state level. Isn't it awesome? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Congratulations, Thank all you. of you. Um, to you, Alex, <laughs> the second runner. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ma Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Here you go. Do this some more harder, all right? Yes. <laughs> and uh, Victor, first runner up. Thank you, Gentlemen, thank, thank you. you. Well done. Thanks, well done. All right, here you go. Um, thank you so much. We're proud of you. This school is so proud of you. And, oh, hold on. I'm in a hurry. I would have had a long speech, but it's okay, young man. Thank you so much. I'm very proud of you. That means you were ready for this. Congratulations for being the winner of the quiz. Let's go. Study more. I'm so proud of you people. All right? So we're looking forward to the state level. We will get that cup, right? Yes, we will. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Whispers in the dark. I love on time. Two hearts collect. Morning. Thank you. <sighs> Good day, ma. Good day. How may I help you? My name is Florence. I've been training for a good purpose. Training me? Yes. Should I be scared for my life? Not at all, ma. I'm from Darrington's parents. My instruction is to look for you and beg you for a chance to see him and talk to him. You mean? Darlington. Can have it. Darlington. Darlington. Hi, Miss Emily. Good day. It's me, Darlington. It's so great to finally hear from you again. I've been trying to reach you now for weeks, but your line doesn't go through. Please get my number from her so we could talk and possibly meet. I miss you so much. See you soon. So let me give you his number. I can't believe you're actually working right now. Like, we haven't seen it, like, forever. And the one time we get to spend with each other, you're working. Sweetie, you know I don't joke with my work. Yeah, I know, but I just felt like, you know, you could spend the day laying in bed, doing adult things. Well, you have to wait till you're 20. Ha! Jokes on you. I'm turning 20 in a couple of months. Oh, well, then you have to wait till you're 21. Wow, you're killing me. Mm. Stop it, no. Okay, how about when I go to college? I'm supposed to return to the States in a couple, but I'm not going anywhere without you. <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. I mean... 
<laughs> well, you know, you know, my whole life is here. I know, okay, but I promise it will be worth it. I mean, you get to be with the love of your life, me, and I do the degree that you love so much. And after that, we get married. Oh, whoa. When you're hold, ready, of course. Hold on. You're going too fast now. <laughs> hey, fine. Would you at least think about it? Think? Mm. I don't have to think about it. You see... I didn't realize how much I cared about you until I left. Like, I literally cry myself to sleep every night. Really? You know, if your parents give their consent, I want to go everywhere with you. Because I love you. <laughs> oh my god! <sighs> I can't believe you just said that. Like, I just, I feel like I've just hit a lot of you right now. I love you so much. Mm -mm. I love you more. No, I love you more. Mm -hmm. I love you more. I love you more. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Oh, yeah. Then you do. And the hearts. Oh, you miss me too. Beating love, but we will break through. Your love is a taboo, babe. You're the sweetest one. They say your love is a taboo, babe. I swear you're the sweetest one. In every step, we break the mold. Feel his heart drum and ball against the current will forge your head in a bud will find strength and stay you and I against the tide loves our God we got nothing to hide and our hearts forever true for beating love, but we will break through. Your love is a taboo, babe. You're the sweetest one. They say your love is a taboo, babe. I swear you're the sweetest.